Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still uh, watching Cairo Local Time. And now we are joined over the phone by Dr. Naja Zakhari, former Minister of Scientific Research, to tell us more about uh, Egyptian women and the government efforts to empower them. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Nadia. I'm sorry, your voice is very, very far. Okay. Uh, this is good, yes. Yes, yes, Dr. Nadia. Uh, first of all, happy Women's Day to you and Thank your family. You. Uh, Thank to you and to every woman in Egypt and every worldwide. Yes, uh, Dr. Nadia. Uh, if we talk about uh, the government uh, efforts uh, uh, that aim at uh, empowering Egyptian women, how do you evaluate these efforts? Of course, we are in the golden era for women nowadays, and the start was from the sustainable development and the a chapter, a whole chapter for empowering women yes. economically, politically, and uh, socially. Uh, so this was was uh, the start. Then came the year 2017, where our, when uh, it was uh, a year for the women, and it started with a uh, women governor, as you know. Uh, this was very strange to have a woman governor, governor yes. in Egypt. We never had it. We had ministers, we had whatever, but not a governor. Hmm. And then we had many uh, parliamentarians, women, about 28%. Yes. We are now in the, parla in the parliament. We have uh, eight uh, ministers. Yes. We have uh, many deans for the universities and we have um, uh, judges, we have other positions that were never taken by never uh, taken by women, like mechanician, like a driver for a truck, like yes. uh, uh, a delivery girls are doing delivery, many many jobs, and now the girls are doing all their efforts to. Uh, be uh, empowered economically. Yes. Uh, if we talk also about efforts to empower Egyptian women in rural areas uh, via a Decent Life initiative and other initiatives, how do you see uh, these initiatives? Of course, when we talk about Haya Karima and when we talk about uh, the careful Wakarama, we are talking how to empower the women economically, and we yes. are talking about the rural women, not those who are. Uh, um, uh, we are talking about those who are living in the villages. Uh, so uh, the National Council of Women is making a great effort in uh, the villages, especially like Almania, like Sina, like Siwa, like Halay uh, Bushalakin, to empower the women there and to make them an ID, because doing an ID makes uh, an identity for the yes. women. Uh, learning women, uh, many rules that were... Uh, um, offered for women in the last years, like uh, the circumcision, yes, uh, like, gender equality, uh, yes, like the inheritance law, uh, and uh, all, all these are empowering women in villages other than Cairo and Alexandria. Also, if we talk about the main goals, uh, the main goals of Agenda 2030, uh, and uh, uh, to what extent the women. Uh, are involved in uh, this uh, 2030 agenda? You know, the most important thing is uh, learning uh, and education. It is very important for the girls because uh, being educated and being in university or having a certain uh, certificate, this empowers yes. the, children, the women and the girls. And this uh, prohibits the early mass marriage for the girls, and this is very important because when a woman has a certain certificate, she can work, she can uh, continue her learning, mm -hmm. and then she thinks about marriage. But when she's married at a young age, this destroys her life and the life of the, of the whole family that she's yes. doing. So in your opinion, what are the challenges that still face Egyptian women nowadays? Let me say that many opportunities have been given to the women, yes. but the main challenge is to uh, change the mind of the community towards uh, the women and giving a good idea about the women in the whole community, because not all the community believe that women should have their rights, should work, should learn, should whatever, but as uh, our president and the government, they believe in that and they are doing so great efforts to give the women chances to prove herself.
Yes. And to overcome these challenges. Yes. Uh, also, it is worth mentioning, as I said earlier, uh, to talk uh, about uh, the appointment of uh, female, uh, 98 female judges, and they started yes. to assume their judicial work this week uh, in the occasion of uh, International Women's Day. So, to yes. what extent this is a success? It was wonderful. It was wonderful, and it, uh, it was so impressive for men and women, not only for yes. the women. It was impressive for the men and for the women. Yes. So finally, I'd like to thank you, uh, Dr. Nadia Zakhari, former Minister of uh, Scientific Research. Uh, thank you for being with us today. And uh, by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of uh, today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time. Thank you for watching.